this is Matt with Let's Talk Music. I'm here with Matt, Steve, Brooks, and Shane of the band Fire Sets Fire. Fellas, how are we doing this evening? Great, man. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Thanks for having us on, man. For sure. Hey, no well, problem. <laughs> so the new song, called Fire Sets Fire. Uh, yeah. Really enjoy it, man. I mean, it's... it's uh. It's got a kick-ass rock vibe to it with uh, my freaking heart just got broken type of vibe. Yeah. Yeah, it sums up pretty damn rough. Good. Nailed it. <laughs> so who was the one that got heartbroken? I think I think uh, each of us got some severe heartbreak uh, during that time period. Um, so... I think it was a little bit of, of everybody's heartache and uh, in, uh, somewhat injury. That's a good answer. Yeah, because uh, yeah, most, a lot of our songs uh, kind of reflect all of us. So when we put things together, it's kind of got to we, we do it real organically and together. And it's just everything that we're going through as as a group is pretty much funnels right into those songs. Right. Yes, we li we lived it. Yeah, I mean, it stemmed from a relationship that I had out there in California with, uh, but it, it was it's also about a much, much bigger picture than just than just that girl in that relationship. But, you know, the guys were there with me and yeah. and we were together throughout that whole thing. And, and that's when that's when the band was formed. And that's when that's, you know, when the magic started. And um, that's why I say, you know, it was a it was a little bit of all of us for sure. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, you can you can definitely feel the the feel the pain in it. I mean, yeah, good, good. And it's 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 a kick ass song, and really enjoyed the video too. Uh, tell me about the video shoot. Well, that was that was uh, that was really fun for us because it's our it was our third video with uh, our 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 guy uh, Kerry from Frontman Video, and he. Uh, you know, we got really comfortable with him and he's really easy to work with. So when we went to do this, we scouted some spots and man, it was just a fun, it was just a fun, fun day. You know, we shot it all in a day. Everybody had such a great time. It just, it's just, you know, it was easy to do. So those are the best kind, you know, nothing forced. Right. For sure. Except for us having to dress up. That, uh, for Shane, that's yeah. difficult. Hey, but you know. Yeah. That... <laughs> you asked me to dress up, <laughs> I'm feeling forced. Yeah, I know it's right? a monkey suit, but he cleans it's up like well. Asking Matt to put shoes on. Yeah, it, that's true. That's exactly right. <laughs> we still I, I've been wearing them a lot more these days. <laughs> well, for, uh, first off, Steve, I, I want to compliment you on um, the guitar work. Um, you, you really made that Les Paul talk, man. Oh, thank you, thank you. That's that's the goal. So, I'm not the flashiest guitar player, but uh, I put a lot into it and. I like my parts to have some feeling and, you know, and so I appreciate you say that. Yeah. <laughs> he said, yeah. 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 I mean, it, it, it was, man, it was just a, a very well orchestrated song. I mean, uh, you, you got the killer guitars in it. I mean, the drums are okay. But, uh, I'm just messing with you, Shane. <laughs> the, All right. I'm the world's, I'm the world's the most okay at drumming. On his way. Yeah, say that again, Shane. I love that. I'm the world's most okayest drummer. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, all, all of the music was great, and um, thanks, man. It, it really it it did it. It made well. I mean, Steve, you were uh, not Steve, but Matt, you were quoted as saying mm -hmm. that uh, you know you want the people to feel the vocals all the way to your soul, and you do i mean mission accomplished thanks man so you're in texas now i'm in texas right now yep the rest yep. of the guys are in california mm -hmm. yep. yes all right so, so we, we've just been grinding and making it work man and and uh fighting the <laughs> fighting the forces that are you know that are against us and stuff but uh we're still together and we still love each other even more and um and it's like, you know, it's only going to get better. It's only getting, it's only going to get better. So how did you guys come about? I mean, 
were you guys all friends, you know, before the band started or? How long is this? How long do you want this? Uh, <laughs> how long is this interview going? Interviewed. The, uh... oh, I typically go about 30 minutes. So. Okay. Well, well I, Steve, I, and I, I think... Steve and I have been in bands since the early 90s. And uh, so we always in between like projects or whatever, even if something wasn't really like going, we would uh, we would always just keep our chops up and we'd, we'd go in and, and jam out. So we were always during all these periods of time, we start coming up with a lot of ideas and, and stuff started really kind of, you know, uh, gelling, had a few, you know, solid ideas for songs and riffs and structures and just like, you know, basic frameworks for songs. And then, uh, you know, we met Matt, they just all like some, you know, the, the ones that were there that were good and usable, like just happened. I mean, he had, he put words right in there and uh, the songs almost wrote themselves. For sure. They absolutely did 100%. I like, let me, I'll try to nutshell it. Um, Cause I feel I need to say something on this. Um, I plunged into California um, and was basically on the streets of Long Beach for about two and a half years or so. And um, I posted a, a Craigslist ad and uh, Steve responded. And long story short, um, he came and basically him and Brooks and I mean, they were they rescued me. They came and they rescued me and they were also the band that I had been, that I had prayed for like for <laughs> since you know since the beginning so so and they still are and that's 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 pretty neat that is pretty neat where are you originally yeah. from Matt? where am I originally from yeah Houston Texas oh okay is that where yeah. you're at now or yeah I'm in Houston oh okay and the rest of you guys are all out of Cali yeah, 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 COVID, COVID hurt us, man. You know, we were sure. doing things and rolling a lot, and then COVID came along and and killed us. You know, Matt had had you know was was struggling. He he we had to go back home. You know, we were all dead in the water. I mean, it's not boohoo for us. Everybody everybody suffered in especially okay. in the entertainment, but it, it kind of put it where it was. He's there. We're working this way right now, and now things are moving towards a way where we'll probably be together a, a lot more again. But uh, it, you know, it took a toll. It took a toll on everybody. It really so, did. It was like we were gaining momentum, and then it was just like, yeah. no, everywhere, not, not right everywhere now. shut down, no gig, yeah. nowhere to play. Yeah. Steve you know, had surgery, like uh, Brooks did too. I mean, like it. You know, just forces were were against us for sure. You know, but you you don't know many how many times I've heard that, man. Um, sure, sure, and it's yeah. tough for us, the little band. We don't have a full support system. We're funding ourselves. You know, we're we're getting to the point. And 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 like he said, we were just man, we were getting some momentum. We're talking sure. to management, we're talking to people that are gonna elevate us to the next level. And you know, not like I said, everybody suffered, but the big bands, they they lost money and and you know, they 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 but they could recover, you know, for us to push that hard and get that ball rolling, boy, when it takes it, you know, the rug under you. It's tough. It's tough to recover. Well, know, for sure. I, I get that, Steve. I mean, most of the bands I do are, you know, DIY bands. They're uh, sure. I've I've maybe yeah. done three guys that were signed, you know, out of a hundred and fifty something videos. Yeah. Yep. My my thing is is <clears throat> trust me, I mean, it would be great to have, you know, Metallica, Megadeth, somebody like that on on my, you know, YouTube, but um I feel like I, I enjoy the the DIY bands a lot more because of their work ethic and sure. their um uh, their willingness to succeed, you know, and, and you guys are, you know, we all can just sit here and chat and it's not like, you know, you guys dismiss what I'm asking or anything like that. And, and I feel like the, the, you know, the bigger bands that have been around for a long time are going to, you know, do something like that. And, I know I've heard that uh, if you don't want to hate them, don't ever meet your heroes. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man. Yeah, be careful. Yeah, what man. You wish for. <laughs> we're lucky. We're lucky. We're nobody's heroes, so nobody hates us yet. 
Yeah. <laughs> uh, Shane, I mean, you're you're kind of my hero, bub. Yeah. I, I like. Well, you, well, I'll make sure that you hate me by the end of this interview. Then. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you're like, shut up, mute. <laughs> Hey, you know what? There's there's nothing wrong with a little comedy in it, man. I love that. You know, it's gotta it's, have some fun, man. Right. For sure. And that's what it is, man. That's I'm I'm not, you know, I don't have any journalism background. Uh you know, I've never worked for a radio company or anything like that. I just I love music. Um and when I hear something I like, you know, I say, Hey, can I talk to them guys? And you know, these these publicists, especially Shauna, she's like been my biggest cheerleader since day one and um yeah sean is awesome yeah she she set me up with so many bands i mean she hell she's set me up with two of the sign people uh tommy vexed and uh keith wallen from breaking benjamin you know right. so you know that was really uh I, I was quite giddy for those ones you know i just i bet i bet you know, Both tommy, great guys. It, 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 I, I go on video and he's sitting there finishing up his dinner he's like give me one second i'm like hey you're good dude I'm yeah, not gonna say a damn word. You're you're like you know twice my size. So, but yeah, I mean, uh, is the uh, the song is self titled. So what's what's the album? Is it Fire Sets Fire? Also, yeah, yeah, we kind of ran yeah. out. We might Steve, as well just wanted to come up well with just, just hit that full force and just you know, yeah, all three ways, just all three ways. Fire Sets Fire self titled album. There you go. Yeah, you, uh, you know, we it never set out out. with a. We didn't set out with a name or a, or an idea. We had we had like Shane said, we had a bunch of ideas. And when when um, you know when we put together that song it was kind of one of our first ones. There were a couple before that, but that one like really hit for us. And we knew yeah. that 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 meant something was significant. So it named the band. It, you know, it was the song. So we kind of already had two out of three done already. You know? And it also it also became uh, our the best way that we write material we we learned that you know yeah. um and it's usually right when we get into a jam session and the first you know somebody will start jamming and then somebody will pick up on it and usually that song is like the dopest song that we play you know like for that whole jam session so that's, pro pro yeah, that's what, probably that's what half the, probably half the songs on the record were like that matt we would walk yeah. in the room and yeah. the first thing we would play when we go to rehearse yep. ends up being one of those riffs. And For it, sure. it just and made it easy. I can remember it, it like it was yesterday. I mean, like Angry Boys, Speechless America, like those. I can remember the days that we when we were, you know, when those things came yeah. out of us because it was so it was so organic and it was so real. And that's that is what keeps this band together. That's what makes this band uh a force, you know, it's just yeah, it's our, like you guys got a hell of a chemistry. Yeah, yeah man, that's I mean, what it we're is. brothers. We're brothers, man. I mean, like, there's no, you know, there's no nothing, no ifs, ends, or buts about that. We're brothers, so we're in this together, and we try to build each other up and not tear each other down. And if you do that, then you're, you know, there's no way to go but up. So it may be a slow climb, yeah. but at least you're at least you're climbing. Yeah. So and I'll tell you what, this is the hard, the hardest working. You know, Steve, <laughs> Shane, like Brooks, they're like all American, like everything's, dude. Like all American dads, all American husbands, all of it. They're just all Americans, man. And like for me to front these guys, it was a big wake up call. And it was just like, you know, I, I went through some <laughs> changes uh, to, and in order to be able to front, man, these gentlemen, you know, it's like, it was a big uh, responsibility, and uh, I'm still, I'm still growing. Uh, yeah. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm a all American dad, but not an all American husband. Thank you very much. <laughs> I just wanted to set the record straight there. Just in case we got some, some, some females that will watch this to make sure. No, I'm. But you could. Like you were, and then you, you could be still in the future because you have those qualities and characteristics about you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. We'll we'll put that on the description. All right. Yeah. Just, timer. Just make sure that everyone knows about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fire. We'll make a fire sets fire Tinder profile. There we go. <laughs> uh, say no more, bro. I'm on it. Yeah. <laughs> so 
Um, what about gigs, man? Anything coming up in the works? Uh, just putting some stuff together now. Like we've been really focused on writing. We put our last album out and then, um, you know, in 2018 and we wrote a lot of that uh, and then that the COVID thing. So what we've really been doing is putting together new music. We want to bring some more music. We we love these songs, but we're ready for some new stuff. So um, that's that's what we're working on. And, and we'll be gigging in the summer. Okay. Yeah, the momentum is just now you know, getting back up under our feet. We finally got, you know, the video, the video we've been waiting to release out and stuff. And it's doing, you know, doing pretty well. well from what it seems. And, uh, you know, yeah, we're ready. We're definitely yeah. ready. I mean, we'll so. play tomorrow, but uh, the, the real idea, the real focus on us is getting some, getting some new music. We, for it's, sure. It's been four sure. years, almost five years now. Yeah. Yeah. Time. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Corona, that Corona, you know, not not to just blame it all, all on that, but like that's that was a big sledgehammer to what everything we had going on. Yeah, you know, but uh, but whatever, you know, it's like pick yourself up, rise from the ashes, and get better and be better, and and that's what we're doing, and that's what we'll continue to do. So, yeah, on and on, fire everything, fire everything. Steve, I, I love the uh, the enthusiasm and you know just the positivity. I mean, <clears throat> it it did it, it crushed a lot, man. Uh, I know quite a few uh, venues around here that that damn near didn't make it, and there was a couple that didn't. And you know, same with uh, you know local bars that people play at, or you know bars that have been around for a long time where you can just go and have a beer and some food, you know, and absolutely and, and you know there was just a lot of businesses that went down i mean i know ohio wasn't as tight as california with it but um it uh it affected everyone man yeah it did and uh, you know i remember when they first decided to allow a concert um it was at the newport music hall um and it was they came on the radio and they said look this is how things have got to be Okay, you're going to have to show a vaccination. You're going to have to have a mask. But people need this. You know, people need to get out and mingle amongst each other. They need live music. And the musicians, as well as the fans, need it too. The well, fans Bullshit. need it just as much as the as the bands need it. They, and uh, yeah. they, they want to get back out. Yeah. You know, even here in Hollywood, one of the most famous clubs in the world, the Whiskey, it, it it is suffering oh, threatened to go out of business. I mean, right. it, no one's safe when that kind of stuff happens. Oh, no, no. no. And, uh, I mean, one of the, the Newports, one of the oldest venues is, is, is actually, if you look it up, it's the oldest or the longest running rock venue in America. Wow. In Columbus. Uh, yeah. And it's consistently, you know, yeah. the whiskey's pretty old, but it used to be the uh, Columbus Al Gore announced the Newport Music Hall. But I mean, you go in this place and you can tell it's old. And I mean, the yeah. Doors played there, ACDC played there, right, right, right. You know, Grateful Dead. So, yeah. you know, it, it's got some history, and it's it's an amazing place to see a show. I mean, guys go in there, and and I think they just run their hands down the amp like you've seen on the old videos, turning yeah. the way up, and they try to bring that damn ceiling down. Sure, but sure. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it it did it 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 fucked up a lot of shit, a lot of uh, a lot of people, a lot of you know businesses, and I mean, in some ways, uh, you know, I I've talked with bands, and I feel like it also kind of helped them because Absolutely. you guys had a lot more time to actually sit there and create your music than what you do when you're trying to rush to get out good idea good good thought good thought yeah, for well, sure there's there's always a good way something you can do you can find a way to do something positive with a situation like that for sure yeah uh, and i i feel like brooks wants to say something i hear him in the background well i'm just you know you got me going thinking about all the guitar playing i did when everything was shut down i played guitar more than i have since i was 20 years old it's it's amazing how something like that frees you up to do other things and i you know it i brought a lot of positive stuff out of it to be honest and, sure. and that, that's what i'm getting at i mean because if you think about it uh you know the, the quality of music since covid 
I feel like has been better. Yep. I, I'd agree with that. Yeah. I, I yeah, I would. I would. Coming out. It's not a landslide statistic, but I would agree with it for sure. Yeah, and it, it is. It's. I mean, you, you just got. I don't know. It, it, it was. It was good and bad, and it. You know, at least you guys were able to survive it. Um, for sure. For you, sure. you, you come out uh, obviously stronger from what Matt has said. Um, your, you know, your new song is is. Let's just call it fire. Yeah, it's fire. Uh, you know, and I, I feel like with your guys' attitude and, you know, your your talent, you'll get that momentum back. Yeah, we're, we, we're, we're confident of that, too. Um, yeah. We're just, um, just going to put one foot in front of the other one and just start climbing again, you know? Yeah, that's right. So we're talking, we we're talking new music when? Uh, we're looking at this summer realistically I'd like to say sooner but um you know we're just starting to to put down the put down the uh you know really finalize everything and get these songs ready to go and um and then we're gonna get rocking yeah it's it, it's the prep work you know and everybody's got stuff going on with their families and stuff too so uh the you know but once the prep work is combined in the marinade then that's when we really go to work and we, when we go to work, we go to work hard and we get, we get stuff done fast. So that's, what's good about us. Oh yeah. So do you guys do your own mixing and mastering too? Um, we didn't, we, we can, yeah. but um, we do most of our own pre-production. Okay. So uh, we have good recording stuff. Um, and, um, but it, I think at the end of the day, we like to have outside help uh, because it just gives you other ears and eyes and opinions sure. and right. things like that. And it's easy to get locked up in your own box, in your own head. Um, and um, it's really healthy to, to have somebody else kind of saying, hey, let's try this. Let's try that. Let's, you know, and push you a little bit, you know. Right. So we, we definitely will do that again with this recording. You know yeah all right guys well um we are just about out of time great appreciate it. i appreciate you being on uh we appreciate you having us. thank you for having us so much yeah thanks for having us no problem i mean like i said i i love the new music um and that's one of the great things about like i said being able to do this and and working with all these publicists is you know i'm starting to work with a lot from over in europe too and I mean, just to be able to hear music from all around the world has been, um, it, it's been a blessing. I, I love it. Fantastic. Yeah. We yeah. got to support the local musicians. So, you know, well, yeah. yeah. Amen. Hey, everybody started out local, right? Yeah. That's right. That's yeah. right. So, yeah, we appreciate it. Well, keep an eye out for us uh, and we'll be sending you new stuff when we get it. But until then, people can go to the YouTube channel, hit us up on the socials. Look at Shane's Tinder profile, whatever you know. His, his only fans, his only yeah. fans page. Yeah, only fans. No, I'm, good. Only I'm good. I'm all right. All I sell on the on the site is fans. Only fans. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Well, you have a good evening, and thank you very much for being on. All right, we yeah, appreciate man, thank you. Thank you so much. Take care, brother. All right, later. All right, bro.